All right, so I'm going to show you how to take your feedback file from Moodle and open it up in Google Docs so that you can still see the comments. So we're going to start by going down here to the feedback file. And like you would expect, you click it to download it. Notice it comes down over here in the corner. What we're going to do now, though, is we're actually going to, instead of touching it to open it, we're going to click the arrow to the side, and we're going to say Show in Folder. Okay, that's going to open up your Downloads folder here for your Chromebook. And this is where it's stored. It's actually stored on the Chromebook. But what we need to do is we need to get that into your Google Drive so that you can see the comments. So to do that, we're actually going to go up here, and we're going to minimize your browser because you don't need it right now. And then we're going to go down and we're going to open your drive. Now I have my drive down here in the quick launch tray. You may have to, to click your apps button to find drive. But uh, however you find it, you're going to pull your drive up. The problem is when your drive gets there, we're going to need to like see that download folder. So you need to go up here to the middle button and uh, shrink your drive down. You may even have to grab the edge over here and sort of drag it over, but you want to be able to see your drive and you want to be able to see the download folder at the same time. So you'll notice I've rearranged things. Here is the file that you want to open with the comments. Here is your drive. All you have to do now is simply click and drag. And you notice the big blue circle appears. You're going to drop that into your drive. Now, depending on how you set it up, it may ask you, hey, do you want to convert this? Uh, in this case, you absolutely do want to convert this to Google Docs format. It will preserve the comments if you do it that way. So I'm going to say, yes, I want all that. I'm going to start the uploads. It's done uploading, and there it is. It appears at the top, and let's test and see if this works. I'm going to open that document. Document opens up. I'm going to go ahead and maximize that so it's the full screen. And it takes it a second to load, but there you'll see we have the document. And out to the side, we have the same comments that were put there in Word. That should do it.